guys. Um, so today we're going to do another what's in my caboodle video. Sounds like I already have stuff in there. <laughs> I should check that out. I think it's just a pencil sharpener, but um, yeah, I'm just going to, there's some things that are the same from last month and there's some things that are going to be new that I'm putting in here. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. If this pencil sharpener from LOC, I'm just going to leave that in there. And uh, that was what was making the noise. Oh, and also this cap from the ColourPop uh, setting spray. So yeah. Um, but yeah, caboodles, they're nice for holding all your stuff together. Um, I'm probably not going to put anything in the caboodle right now. I just want to show it and uh, give you guys a little little details about it but yeah this is good and um this is my okay so I had this in last month and I didn't end up using it at all so we're gonna try to use it this month it's the L'Oreal Paris um pocket palette color riche pocket palette I really like these palettes um I have a couple of these I have this and like a rose gold one um this one is in hot hazel and um it's just some really nice like bright colorful like this is like a nice fall palette I meant to use it in fall it's probably going to be spring before I end up using it with knowing me, but this is a good palette and uh, let's see if I use it this month. The Dose of Colors Blushing Berries, I used quite a bit last month, um, but I didn't use it like enough to do like a full review or anything, but like I just, I like this palette. Um, it's nice, it's all matte, um, the, the shades are good, and um, it's one of the most uh, what you see is what you get type of palettes that um, I have. So this is a good one. The ColourPop Amber Setting Spray. So I've used this quite a bit, um, as you can see. Um, I used this a lot last month, and I'll probably just keep using it this month. I also have the Milani Make It Last and the Evian um, their setting spray, which I really like the Evian one. That would be a good one just to keep in your purse because that's just nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try to use the ColourPop one. Maybe I'll use it up this month. Maybe I'll at least almost use it up this month. The number seven setting powder. This is just what I use as a setting powder. There's nothing like super amazing about it, but I think it works better than other things that I used. And I like, um, like a loose setting powder more than like a pressed one. I have this Milk uh, Makeup Glitter Stick, which I wanted to use on my eyes last month and I never got the chance to. So I, I think I'm going to try that this month. The NYX Glitter Glue, and this is a um, an Essence Lip Liner, and this is in the shade In the Nude. I'm just kind of keeping that in there because that's a good thing to have. This Anastasia Glow Kit. I kind of want to compare this to the Sleek Solstice Palette, so I think I'm going to do like... um uh drugstore versus high-end video on this versus the sleek solstice palette because this is my favorite high-end palette and I don't I think I like the sleek one more um I kind of you know I kind of ruined that one <laughs> but um it's okay the the other colors are great too and I really love this palette this is the Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. Um, I saw, uh, what's her name? <laughs> Jenny Fox used this um, in, or she bought it recently in a drugstore haul. And I really like this. I forgot how much I liked it. And then I saw it in her haul and I'm like, oh yeah, I should break that out and use it again. So I'm going to try using it this month. This is the Sleek uh, Blush Palette in Rekindling. Um, it just has three little br blushes in it. This one's a cream. These two are powders. This one you can kind of use as a highlight too. Um, I really like this. And since I've been talking about the uh, Solstice palette so much, I wanted to break this back out and give it a shot again. Um, I really like this, so I'm happy to use it again. The Pixie Aspen Novard, um, right? Aspen, Aspen Overd. <laughs> I, I always thought it was Aspie Novard, but it's Aspen Ovard. And I think I discovered that on video one day and I'm like, oh, I've been pronouncing this wrong the whole time. But whatever her name is, um, it's the London Luster Highlight. I've seen uh, Pixie go on sale with a lot of their um, collabs with YouTubers. So I'm curious to see if any more from like this, this person go on sale because I really liked this highlight. I think other people have seen it on sale. So I, I might need to look at my Target because I don't remember seeing it at Target. These were two of my favorite things last month and I didn't get to use them a ton last month. So I want to use them a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I like them. I kind of want to do a look with this Pixie by Petra um, Ultimate Beauty Kit 2nd Edition palette. I just did a video on palettes I bought because they were on sale. And I think I'm posting that after this video. 
But um, this was one of the first palettes that I bought because it was on sale and it was just on sale at Target but I think it's really nice and it comes with a lot for like the price of this so I kind of want to do like a thrift or a throwback Thursday I might do on my blog about this. I, I think it's nice. I just got this Lorac Mega Pro palette. I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm trying to do a five looks one palette with this. Those don't always work out because they're not as easy to use as I think they are when I start using them. But this I'm going to try to do with that. So uh, yeah, it's it's just, I'll show you guys the inside because it's pretty. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, but I like it. I actually wore this today. I took my eye makeup off because it was bothering me a little bit. But I wore it today and I liked it a lot. This was my favorite of the month. It's the Smashbox Drawn In Decked Out Shadow Plus Contour. I'm holding it upside down. Shadow Plus Contour Plus Blush Palette. And I love this guy. Um, it's just so good. It's great for everyday looks. I did a whole everyday look with this palette last, um, last month and I liked it a lot. So I'm going to keep using it this month and I'm going to keep loving it this month because it's so good. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Um, I just really liked this last month and I want to keep using it again this month uh, because I like it. So yeah, I'm going to use it. The Sleek Solstice Palette, like I said, I just love this palette and it'll be good to review alongside that Anastasia Palette. Uh, yeah, I'm just excited. My most used product of 2018, I think, is this uh, NYX um, Correct and Conceal palette. I love this guy. It's awesome. Highly recommend picking this up. I like using this better than I like using concealer, so that's just my thoughts on it, but it's good. And the last two things that like I'm putting in here are the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Um, I haven't used this in a while, and I do really like this, so I want to try to use that. Plus, it's good, like, in a hurry. Um, maybe I'll be rushing around this month. I don't really know. But this is good, and I like this foundation. I actually saw, like, a really negative video of it. Um, it was some guy. He's so funny, and he was just, like, saying, like, what not to do with makeup, and he put, like, this foundation. He's like, no, don't get this foundation. Get this foundation. And I was like, it was either the Huda Beauty or the Fenty foundation, and he's like, this foundation will make you look like a grease ball, and just, like, funny, and it was relatable, and pretty much... Everything that he said not to do is something that I do in everyday life. Anyway, the Wet n Wild Foundation, that's that's a thing that I'm going to use. And, you know, if you use it throughout the month too, that's cool. Um, and, like, I like having, like, a high-end option to, like, you know, to kind of focus on and a drugstore option to kind of focus on because, like... I like high-end products and I like drugstore products, so that's why, you know, there's a little mix of everything on this channel. I'm not gonna... If there's something from the drugstore that, like, I keep on trying and it's, like, crap, I'm not gonna keep buying it just because it's cheaper than something expensive. Um, and if there's something expensive that just isn't good, I'm not gonna, like, recommend it to you guys just because it's expensive. And if there's a better... I always like to try to test, uh, drugstore and high-end because I, I always like finding a drugstore option that I like better than the high-end option, even if it never, like, really happens. Um... You know, I'm more likely to buy a drugstore foundation over and over again than a high-end foundation. So, yeah, that's why that's why the Wet n Wild and the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick are both in here. Um, and, yeah, those are... That, I feel like that's going to be, like, a very, like, full coverage look for me this month. But that's just what we're going to go with. Um, okay. So I think that's everything. This probably won't be like everything I used this month. Last month I used totally different things, but these are things that I want to try to include and I'm going to try to like do something on my blog or on my channel with these products in the next month or two months. Um, so these are things that you're going to see on here or on there. Um, within the next month. So, you know, just don't be like surprised to see them. They're all right here in this What's in My Caboodle video. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like this and um, I will see you guys um, soon. I don't know if it's tomorrow. I, don't, I think I'm posting this on Wednesday. So yeah, I'll see you guys all on Friday with my most, uh, with my makeup that I purchased on sale. Um, makeup that I purchased because it was on sale video. Um, all right, so I'll see you then. Bye.